How about 10 quid a hole from here to the 18th? You're on. Ask Helen, she might do it. Do what? Make tea, we're both parched and snowed under. I thought Joe does the honours. Oh, she does, but... She makes the worst cup of tea. It's so weak, you could read your paper through it. I'd love to help, but... Uh... What time do you make it? Ten after nine. Right, that's it. He's done it this time. Who has? Rana. I warned him. I told him he had to buck his ideas up, and this is what happens. He's late again. Who is? Rana. Morning all. Repeat prescriptions. All yours. What time did you get in? About an hour ago. I wanted to catch up on some paperwork. I'll stop. Anyone fancy a cuppa? Oh, no, thank you. I just have one. <laughs> Found it yet? Uh, yes. Just here. Just out of the rough. <laughs> Good. Are you sure? Positive. Could there be a mistake? Not unless this X ray report is a forgery, which I doubt. But I was convinced, wrongly. I've been so worried. Bronchitis often turns into pneumonia and then clears. The antibiotics must have done the trick. There is no shadow on your lung whatsoever. So I won't need an operation. Mrs. Taylor, you're going to have to get used to it. You're better. That'll be 40 quid you owe me. I'll get you back on Tuesday. Might not be able to make it. Why not? Barbara, she wants me to go shopping. Shopping? Don't be ridiculous. Do it the weekend like anybody else. Apparently it's quieter on a Tuesday. Well, of course it's quieter on Tuesday. That's when the intelligent people are playing golf. Well, I'm sorry, I'd love to, but you know how it is with barber and shopping. What am I going to do then? Practice. You OK? Yeah, headache, that's all. Can I help? Are you here to see a doctor? No more pills? No, that's it. Really? Darren! What are you doing here? You're supposed to be at school. I don't want to go to school. You don't have any choice now. Come on. No! I don't want to go! Darren! It's OK. It's not OK, and he knows it. He keeps bunking off school. Why? How would I know? He never speaks to me. Now, oh, come on. Really, I don't think this is necessary. We were passing. Look, I'm not having you poking me around. Des, I don't mind being a golfing partner too much, but I sure as hell don't want to be a GP as well. Des, did you win? Does day follow night? Concentration nearly killed him. He's got a headache. Rana, could you take a look at Mr. Maidley here? Sure, I've just got... Cheers, some... I'll take him through to your surgery. Des? Did that just happen? Des is his best friend. They go back to the Middle Ages together. I'm touched. Given your popularity around here, you could do worse than make an effort. Darren, what's wrong with you? Is it school? What? I want to be at home with you. OK, here's the deal. You can stay at home for the rest of the day, but you must go in tomorrow, OK? Deal. Oh. I thought you were on half day. Well, you know me. Well, as soon as you're here. Look, I'm here, but I haven't started work. It's Rana. What about him? He's arrogant, pig-headed and invariably late. No, don't sit on the fence, Helen. If you've got something to say, just come out and say it. Mac. We can't all be Helen's. That is not the point. Look, I know he isn't a team player, but he's a good doctor. At least I hope he is. It's okay, just relax. Ow! What is it? I hit my thumb with the hammer. Okay. okay. You're very thorough. With my boss's friends, yes. 
Most people I dismiss out of hand. Ah. That's normal. Okay. Pick a spot high up on the wall and stare straight into it. Hello. I'm sorry to bother you, but what have you done? I fell. I'm so sorry. I think I may have done something. Are you registered with us? Oh, am I? Oh, I don't think... I'm not really sure. If you take a seat, I'll ask the nurse to come and have a look. Thank you. You're very kind. Des gone? No, he's still in with Rana. <laughs> well? His BP, pulse, heart sounds, chest, abdomen and temperature all normal. I've taken bloods and done a full neurological workup. You name it, he's done it. No signs of papilledema, his reflexes are normal and there's no sign of sensory deficit. So what's wrong with him? He's got a headache. I told you there's nothing. All he's fussing about. No need for tests, x-ray, CT scan. Nope, a couple of aspirins should do the trick. And less nagging from Barbara. Now, if you don't mind, I'm out of here. Yeah, good. OK, let's see what we have here. When did you do this? A few days ago, I think. I can't remember. You should have had it seen to. It's badly infected. What happened? Oh, I... Uh, well, it's all a bit of a blur. I fell on some glass. On a glass. I might have had a drink. I see. I'll get the doctor. Yep. Good. I'll tell him. And he'll be in tomorrow. OK, bye. That was Miss Thingamy. She said not to worry about missing class. She can catch up tomorrow. But that's it, Darren. Any more of this and I'll have to tell your father. And you know how I hate speaking to him. OK? Talk to yourself, Brenda. What did the doctor say? Never mind what the doctor said. And don't go changing the subject, you. Just asking. Everything's fine. It's you I'm bothered about. Excuse me. I'm with someone. I know. Barbara just called. Tess has collapsed. What? OK. We're going to put a dressing on this. And when did you have your last tetanus? Give in. i better give you one of those as well. It must be very painful. It's a shame because it makes it difficult to use my hands. And I use my hands so much. Do you? Yes, I'm a musician. A professional violinist. What was wrong with Des Maidley? Nothing. Why? He's been rushed to the hospital. He's had some kind of seizure. We well, can't have. I went over him with a fine tooth comb. There was absolutely nothing wrong with him. Oh, there is now. I better get down there. Max already gone. Huh? You OK? Mm. Yeah. What's happening, Mike? Don't know. He was fine earlier. What are they doing in there? Oh, I don't know. Some sort of scan. And, and they mentioned something about doing a biopsy. God. Hmm? Well, what does that mean? Don't worry. I'll find out. OK. Yeah. I miss playing. We'll soon have you back. Do you play a lot? Eight hours a day? Unless I have a show. Of course. Where do you do your shows? I used to go all over the world. With an orchestra? No, no, I'm a soloist. I once played Carnegie Hall. Carnegie Hall? Mm -hmm. In New York. Do you know of another? The Brook Violin Concerto. Conducted by Herbert von Karajan with the Berlin Phil. That was my finest hour. I was fated all over. 
and mingle with the stars and dance with royalty. I knew them all, you know. Jackie Dupre, Rudy, Margot Fontaine. I'm sure you did. It's a large, space-occupying lesion. Looks like a tumour. It's associated with considerable surrounding edema and shows quite marked contrast enhancement. Any other lesions? No. So, it could be primary or single-secondary. I put my money on an astrocytoma. We won't know for sure until we get the results of the biopsy. And the chances of an operation? No, given its position... What are the chances? Negligible. I'm sorry, there isn't much hope. Uh-oh, here comes trouble. What is it, Mac? Spit it out. Come on, it can't be that bad. You've got a brain tumour. A what? Uh oh A growth in the brain. <laughs> me? You're telling me this is it? No. No. We should wait on the biopsy. And they've got a great neurological unit here. Tell me, Mac. It doesn't look good. better. Really. How can I ever thank you both? There's no need. But you've been so nice. There must be something I can do. Honestly, it's not a problem. I know. I should play for you. That's what I should do. That would be a great honour. Wouldn't it? Of course. Good. I'll work something out. Leave it with me. Poor thing. I don't know. She's happy. Mad but happy. You follow me. What happened? That's exactly what I want to ask you. What? How could you have missed it? You're supposed to be a doctor. I don't know what you mean. He's got a brain tumour the size of a golf ball and you told him to take an aspirin. Look, how could you miss that there was something wrong? I told you he was fine. I didn't miss anything. No, well, of course not. You wouldn't, would you? I mean, you are God's gift to the profession, swanning in here like you own the place. Well, I've got news for you, doctor. I'm fed up with it. And so is everybody else. You want to watch it, because you are on borrowed time, right? Darren, time to go. No, no way. <laughs> My tummy hurts. Don't do this, Darren. But it hurts. I don't care. I'm not keeping you off school again. Now, come on, get up. How long have you been there? Oh, not long. I sent Barbara home for a rest. Did she tell you the results of the biopsy? They can put you on steroids, try some chemotherapy. A lot of possibilities, Des. You've always been such a bad liar. I told them you're not going to have the chemotherapy. No way. You should do what they say. It'll reduce the size of the tumour and even lower the risk of swelling. Yeah, but not cure me. No. No, but it'll help. It'll give you time. Why? How much time have I got? Well, I can only guess, but I'd say a few weeks. Maybe a few months, if you're lucky. A few months would be lucky. Great. You have to think of Barbara. I've been thinking of nothing else. Nine thirty a.m. Okay, thanks. Any news? Max still over there. It's not your fault, Rana. Try telling Mac that. I have. And maybe Mac's right. I mean, it was me who examined him, right? So you know there were no signs. 
can't help wondering that. Did I miss something? Should I have tried something else? Would it have made any difference? To me, yes. Although you probably don't believe that, do you? What did I say? <laughs> he thinks you've got it in for him. Have you? I've had it with him. I don't know what it is, but I've had it up to here. Do you hear? Is he unhappy at school? Not according to his teachers. They say he's a model pupil. What about bullying? He's the most popular boy in the class. I can't think why. Well, his stomach ache certainly seems to have cleared up. There's a surprise. Is he always this quiet? He used to be more forthcoming, but his dad left and... When was that? A year ago now. And when did not wanting to go to school start? About two, three months ago. About as long as I've been seeing you. Yeah. Mrs. Teller, can I talk to Dan on my own, please? St Andrews. Absolutely. Definitely the best course. Well, we should go again. See the my finest hour. Sorry? First hole. Par five, I did it in three. I wish we'd had money on that one. Mm. Mag? Yeah. Will this thing affect my memory? Well, I shouldn't know. Good. Thought I'd lost it for a moment. Why? Well, I remember the first hole being a par four, and you took seven to get down. I wish there was something I could do, Des. Well, you can stop being so glum for us starters. Besides, I've been thinking, I'm going to go for the chemo. Yeah, good. Well, I have to, don't I? It's the only way I'll see my 40 quid. Rana? Rana, you've got a patient waiting. What do you think Mac will do? <laughs> well, I don't know. I only live and work with him. I won't let him sack me. He's not going to sack you. I'm going to resign. What for? I'm being serious. I don't know what happened this morning, but Des Maidley may be dying because of me. Des Maidley may be dying because he's ill, not because of anything you've done. My mum and dad will be devastated. Rana, Mrs. DiCillo is waiting. It meant a lot to them. Their son graduating from med school. What, to run away at the first sign of trouble? Yes. But just because you think you've made a mistake? Because I'm no good at my job. I always wanted to be the best. You're hardly going to be that on the door. Never mind your parents. It's your patients you should be thinking about. I am. No, you're not. That's the trouble with you doctors. You take responsibility for everything. Max the same. Don't compare me to him. Oh, stop feeling so sorry for yourself. Do you know how much I envy you? Envy? Yeah. You can go in there and you can help people. I can't do that. Most people I know can't do that. You should be fighting to do what you do, not running away. Now, Rana, Mrs. Chilo is waiting, and much as I'd like to, I don't know how to treat hemorrhoids. Do you know that business about the stomach? Do you know what you did wrong? You kept changing your mind where it hurts. You see, if you say it hurts here, here and here, then your mum gets suspicious. But if you say it hurts oh, here, oh, then that is much more convincing. <laughs> I used to do it all the time. I still do sometimes. Do you want another tip? You know when you bunk off school like you did yesterday? It's not a good idea to go straight to where your mum is. You want to go down to the shops or something. Unless it's your mum you want to see. Do you want to ask me anything? Is that what mum's got? No. Your mum hasn't got anything anymore. So she's not going to go away? No. Now, this is nothing to do with school, is it? You're worried about your mum. She's better, I promise. Do you? 
Yeah, sometimes these things clear up. Just like your tummy ache. Look, thanks for your help. I'll be back this evening. Don't worry. We'll keep a close eye. Oh, one thing. Is there any way the tumour could have been spotted earlier? Say, in an examination? Well, this one, absolutely not. Not without the CT scan. I've just been explaining that to one of your doctors. It rang with the same query. Rana, trying to ease his conscience. It was a woman, actually. I rang Des Maidley's neurologist. What for? To see if he'd missed anything. He hadn't. There was no papilledema. I didn't miss it. No signs at all. No way of knowing, he was convinced. Brain tumours can be like that. It wasn't your fault. Does Mac know? Probably. Whether he'll admit it or not. Anyway, I thought you'd like to know. Were you checking up on me? No. I was doing you a favour. You drive me mad, Rana, but I don't doubt your abilities. I wanted you to know that. Did you tell Darren you were better? Sort of. Sort of. I never really told him I was ill. Why not? I didn't want to worry him. He worried anyway. Darren's got a phobia. About what? You. He's scared he might lose you. If he goes to school, you might not be there when he gets back. But I'll always be there. Dad isn't. That's different. Him and I... You lied. About what? You said you were going to be fine. Then you went to hospital. I had no idea. But your mum's not going to be in hospital anymore, or is she? It's OK. I'm fine now. Really, I am. Here. Thanks. Oh, don't blame me. Joe made it. Oh. I always thought that I'd go before Des. Don't even think about it. I can't remember a time when he wasn't around. We were mates way before I even started training. I know. Yeah, when I told him that I was going to be a doctor, do you know what he said? More fool you. <laughs> He ribbed me about how I was going to try and do some good in the world while he was out to conquer it. Maybe he'll conquer the tumour? No, he won't. It's a joke, isn't it? I'm a doctor, my best friend's dying, and there's nothing I can do about it. More fool me. You can be strong about it. And you can be there for Barbara. Who will I play golf with? He let me cheat and everything. You'll figure something out. Have you spoken to Rana yet? Did I say I would? No, I did. You. Rana, can I have a word? Sure. Bad time. No? Because if it is, I can always come back. It's fine. Good. Good. It's about yesterday. How is he? Des? Uh, about as well as can be expected, really. Ah, he's as tough as old boots. And the hospital being great. And their neurological unit, top of the range. I know. He's handling it pretty well, considering. No, I'm, I'm sure he'll cope. I'm pleased. Can you hear that? I wonder what it is. I don't know.
Look, Des and I go back a long way. I mean, a very long way. And what's happened's taken me by surprise. It's okay. I understand. And I think I might have, um, maybe, you know. What? Overreacted. It's okay. It happens from time to time. Yes. Yes. Well, I'm sorry. That's what I wanted to say. <laughs>